Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Michelle and here on my channel I post weekly budgeting videos. And right now I'm trying to post about three videos a week, so if that sounds like something you might be interested in, please subscribe so you don't miss when I post a new video. So today we are stuffing my savings binders. So if you're new to my channel and you don't know, we are saving to move out of state, I'm thinking in June. So I have about five months-ish, about five months to save but I'm also pregnant and <laughs> I'm going on maternity leave at the end of next month and so four out of five of these months I'm literally not going to be working so I'm trying to stuff these as much as I possibly can just so I'm as prepared as possible for this move it's going to be a really big move for our family so yeah I'm going to be stuffing $335 it should be let's see 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, uh, 6, 70, 80, 93, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35. So perfect. $335 I'm stuffing today. And the first thing... I am stuffing is our future rent payment so I'm trying to get first and last month's rent at least <laughs> well at least first month's rent preferably first and last month's rent but like if I had it my way I would have first last month's rent and month two's rent just because I don't want to have to go back to work right away so um, $40 is what I'm putting in here I'm also trying to get ahead on my bills, so that should help with this um, if I don't have to use that money. But yeah, so I'm putting $40 in here, which should give me I did finally make some placeholders. I will have these for sale on my Etsy shop. Um, they're not perfect right now, so this was my first time like making them. Um, they don't fit perfectly in here, so I have to like, make some adjustments before I decide to sell them. But yeah, I decided to put money into a high yield savings account instead of letting it sit here because I'm going to have to deposit the money and like pay it that way anyway. I'm probably not going to be able to make these payments in cash. <sighs> so yeah, I did that. So that's sitting in a high yield account now. Sorry if you can hear my son in the background playing. He's being a little bit too loud, but sorry about that. I got 100 200 300 400 20 40 and 50 so 450 dollars yeah they don't like fit in here super well so i have to trim them down i think or maybe they're just too stiff i don't know Ooh, i don't want to break my envelope okay and then 50 So, I'm experimenting with making these placeholders, so we'll see. They'll be better by the time they're like ready to sell. So 450 towards rent. And then next up I have water is getting $10. So I should have $110 in here. So I have 110. And then next up I have electricity. Um, this one's actually not getting stuffed. Okay, so that's right. I made some changes this week because I am like really 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 trying to like focus on saving for like the priorities because like i said i'm going on maternity to leave the end of next month so i'm not going to be working and then we're moving before i go back to work so um i'm not going to have a whole lot of time to save money so i'm like really trying to prioritize things electricity is not normally my bill and i was saving it just in case um, we couldn't pay the bill because my husband or my fiance, whatever, literally same thing. Um, he 
um, was just working at his new business and they weren't making a profit and this was his bill and he couldn't pay it. Like I was saving for that. And I have $200 towards that right now and I'm gonna call that good. So we have decided that he is going to get another job on top of working his business um, until we get like settled in because it's just gonna be, it's too much. So for, he is going to do that. So I'm not gonna really be focusing on his portion of the bills at this time. So maybe a little bit further down the road, if I make good money on disability, I really don't know what to expect. But right now, I'm focusing on like a couple different areas, like hardcore focusing. So I have $200 towards that right now, sitting in the high yield account. So hopefully I can build a little bit of interest and like make a little bit of money, but we'll see. Um, same goes for the phone. That is normally his bill. And so I have $100 in there right now in a high yield account, not making another payment or yeah, payment towards that internet that is my bill and so i will be putting in ten dollars towards that so i should have 110 towards that so i have 100 and 110 towards internet which is what my bill is right now so if it's anywhere near that then i have a full month's worth of payments which is awesome motorcycle is another one um he has a motorcycle bill or a motorcycle payment that he's responsible for paying and since he's gonna be finding a job I'm not gonna worry about this I have a hundred dollars towards it right now if he needs a little bit of help I got a hundred dollars in there but yeah I'm not stuffing that one anymore for the time being car insurance is getting twenty dollars plus twenty so I should have 220 in here. Let's see. Okay, so 100, 200, and at 220 towards the car insurance. And then that is it for that first binder. So the second binder I have is more for like actual savings items. That first one was like more like household expenses. Okay, so the first thing I have in here is the actual move, and I'm putting $70 in that today. So I got 20, 40, 60, and 70. And yeah, so this is going towards like boxes, moving trucks, that kind of stuff. Um, I did like go to U Haul, like the website and i briefly like put in our information for like um how big of a truck we would need like when we're planning on moving and like the mileage approximately like you put like your starting destination to like your ending and it estimated me like i think it was like 300 dollars for a u-haul so i don't know if that's going to change as like it gets closer if the prices are going to raise but and then so 300 dollars it was for like a big truck with like a um, trailer to tow our car, like the one that doesn't work. And then um, we can get a small trailer that our car can tow, and that should be enough. And I think I estimated it like $500 total. So that's kind of my goal for that um, moving trucks, it's like five, around $500. So right now I have one, two, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, and $300. So that's good. I do want more than three, more than the five hundred dollars because I know there's other expenses that come along with it. Um, but I think five hundred dollars. Oops, I'm all talking about five hundred. Now I say I five hundred. No, I have three hundred. Um, I think five hundred dollars is a good estimate for that for our move because it's not like, I mean, it's not close, but it's not super far either. Um, next is the deposit for the house. So this is one I am like. I'm trying to save for. So I'm putting in 140. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40. And I'm also going to go to, I think it's high priority thinking funds. I am going to take out my money for my microblading. So I'm not going to officially cancel my microblading appointment 
just yet in case I change my mind later on down the road. It's not till August, but we're going to be in another state in August. Like I'm probably not going to want to drive all the way back here and get them done and then go back. Like, I don't know what my work schedule is going to look like. I don't know. Like that's a long drive. I don't know. I just, I don't think that's something I want to do. Honestly, like it was something I could do when I'm here. I'm driving 15 minutes to go get it done while, you know, I know my work schedule, like yada, yada, yada. But I want to drive four hours there and back, like four hours there, four hours back, plus however long I'm going to be there. I don't know. That's just something I don't want to do. So I'm not going to cancel my appointment yet, but I'm like pretty sure I'm going to cancel it. So I'm taking the money that I had saved for that and I'm just going to put it in the deposit because this is the one that I'm like most concerned about when we move because I know I'm going to have to have this money like right away. There is no like, oh yeah, I'll have it within like a month. No, you need it like before you move in. And I know a lot of places add an additional pet deposit on top of your security deposit and we have four dogs. So that's a huge concern of mine. So this is the one I am trying to beef up the most. Honestly, my goal is like $4,000 for the deposit. If I don't use it all, that's amazing. But if we're planning on spending $2,000 on rent every single month, it seemed to be pretty like standard to pay like two to $2,000 to $2,500 for a security deposit. And some people were saying plus additional pet deposit, but they weren't being super specific. But there was one house that was specific and it said $500 per pet. So that's $2,000 for our dogs. So yeah, I'm planning on about $4,000 for a deposit. If we don't have to use $4,000 for a deposit, that's amazing. But I want to make sure that we have that money there because that's my biggest concern is like you're not going to get into a house without your deposit. So I'm taking the money out of microblading because I'm probably like, that's not a necessity and I'm probably not even going to like want to get it done anyway. So one, two, three, four, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40. So 640 is what I'm putting towards the deposit right now. And let's go ahead and count the total. dollars back there okay so i got one oh 1100 so 1100 12 13 14 15 20 40 60 80 16 20 40 60 80 17 20 40 50 50 so 17 50 is what i have towards the deposit right now oh this doesn't fit so 17 50 So that is a really good start. The way I have it calculated in my brain is to be able to, um, 17, 50, is to be able to have $2,000 by the time I go out on my leave. So hopefully that works out the way I have it planned. Um, but next up is car registration. So I'm gonna do $10. Towards car registration, um, so I have hundred dollars in here plus one or plus ten is one ten. Um, yeah, car registration. We're gonna have to register our car in another state. Plus, I want to make sure I have enough for like new driver's licenses and stuff like that. Okay, so next up is house. So I'm gonna put ten dollars towards the house. So she gave me one ten. Five and ten. Yeah, so I have a hundred dollars in here plus ten. So yeah, that's anything towards our new house. Um, I'm gonna try to save up as much as I can and like not use this and save it for like our new house that we buy, but we'll see. Cause I don't want to spend a lot of money on a house that we're renting like temporarily. Like I don't want to like decorate it or like make it super nice and homey if we're not gonna stay there. That's just too much like wasted money in my opinion. But I mean, we might need some furniture and stuff, so I don't know yet, but it's there if I need it. Um, miscellaneous is getting $25. 
Okay. So we got 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25 dollars. Perfect. And that is going towards miscellaneous. So this is basically anything that I like didn't plan for or if I'm like a little bit short on something then um, I can take it from here. Um, like say we plan on $2,000 for a deposit and it's like $2,075. Like, I can just take it from miscellaneous like that kind of stuff um, or something pops up that we didn't expect. I just straight up didn't plan for something. I don't know. That's what this money is for. So 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, and 88 dollars. Perfect. No, it should not be 88. It should be 98. <laughs> 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, and 88. I'm confused. Oh, because that should not have been 70. That should have been 60. Oh my god. $88. Okay, apparently... Oh my gosh. I confused the absolute heck out of myself. Okay, so $88. Whatever. Okay, so... That is going to be it for today's video. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.